Okay, uh, lesson three. Uh, three. Uh, let's. Let, we should start with a uh, movie. Game has not yet been rated. Four notorious villains oh, with a plan to destroy the Nicktoons universe will Stars. face off against a heroic foursome <gasps> united voice. in defending it. For the first time ever, Jimmy Neutron, Timmy Turner, Danny Phantom, and SpongeBob SquarePants Square join Pants. forces to battle the greatest criminal minds the Nicktoons universe has ever known. Nicktoons unite, saving the Nicktoons universe one world at a time. Wow, that was that was epic. Uh, remember, it was the the late, no wait, early early two thousands. So that that was pretty impressive stuff. Um, but yeah, no, you should uh, you should buy it. Buy it. It's an amazing game. So why am I showing you that? So what we're going to be doing in in this lesson is we're going to start um, modeling a a character. Okay, so we've gone from doing um, the Braemar crest. Uh, where you started doing a little bit of low poly modeling, and now you're going to move into box modeling. So this lesson is going to kind of be broken down in two in two parts. One's going to be uh, making a low kind of a low poly character, and for this example, I'm going to be using um, this SpongeBob SquarePants character, which is actually the the same um, that the exact same model that was used in this, uh, though it's in it's in Blender here, um, and it doesn't have the, the bones and everything like that. But you'll be you'll be doing uh, you'll be doing this character here. Okay, for the level one guys, uh, and the level twos uh, obviously will be able to actually do their own kind of low poly character. And the reason why I'm using this is you can see, I mean, he is he's square. So if we have a look at the detail here, you can see he's essentially made up of of those polygons. So you can kind of see them here. You know, we've got those tries in there as well. Uh, if we zoom in to say something like his hand here, if we zoom around, uh, I'll just zoom out. Um, just zoom over here, and we'll go into his hand. You can kind of see that structure. Okay, the fingers literally are, you know, one one square, and then they kind of taper off at the end to get that that finger there. Okay, so he's a really good character to use um, for for a low poly example. So you guys are gonna kind of try your, your best to, to make that. Now again, there's quite a lot of finite detail in here. You know, if we if we go in closer, I'll just go into edit mode, um, and I'm just gonna grab a tooth so I can kind of zoom in here. Um, if we go in a bit closer, you can see there's quite a fair bit of detail in the mouth here uh, and the nose. Uh, and the reason why there's quite a lot of detail there is because we actually had this guy animating. There was bones in his mouth, and so he would he would talk. Um, so, you know, stuff like that's going to be a little bit tricky. But I, I really want you guys to probably work on just trying to get that shape uh, for bringing him solid here. Just trying to get this kind of shape, you know, some legs, some hands, a nose, uh, and, and that main body. So that's what you're going to kind of be working on. And you'll be using this model here. Uh, as a guide. So that'll be the first part. And the second part, uh, we're going to be talking, when by we, I mean me, I'm going to be talking about something like this, which is what's called a sculptor's guide. Like this is what uh, we had to put together. We use this from uh, the actual Nickelodeon. So we were making the game for them. So they would give us this guide to say, hey, this is what he has to look like. So you can't just, if you're building a character, like a video game character for a, a known IP um, or property, you've got to actually use um, like this set guides that we've got. That you've got here. So we're going to go through and we'll have a look at um, this this through here and you'll see how they've got a guide there, how you've actually got to do uh, orthogonal uh, drawings um, and everything's kind of set. You've got your proportions here as well. You can see where the teeth are, the lip, everything has to be the same. Um, and as we scroll through, you'll see you've got your, your colors as well. So you can't kind of, with a, a property like this, you actually have to use their, their set um, their set stuff that they've got here. So you can have a look, if you have a look at the main details, they talk about the pupils and the eyes uh, and the nose and the mouth and everything needs to be um, specific to this guy because he's used in a whole bunch of different properties. And you can see they've got Patrick here as well. Um, and as we scroll through, we've got uh, these guys here. Okay, and again, all these kind of do's and do nots when you kind of put this thing together. So we'll be looking at that as well. Um, because you'll be creating your own character uh, and you'll be doing this first, this kind of style guide uh, before you actually go into, into uh, creating it. So that'll be later, but we'll start off with doing this one here. Um, sorry, you don't mind if I'm talking to myself, to the computer? Excellent. Uh, we'll start off by using uh, this character here as a basis. So if you, if you have that, that Bob, uh, SpongeBob file. Um, again, we'll just go back into into wireframe, uh, and I'll try to do this video fairly quick um, because I kind of want you to kind of play around with it, and we'll have a look at that shape. Uh, if you look closely here, you can see that he's kind of made up of three uh, distinct parts. So we've got the body here, which is which is one one mesh, 
okay, so that's your mesh. Uh, then if you look into the, the hands and the arms, you can see they're actually uh, a separate piece. So the arms are a separate piece and the legs are a separate piece and they're just actually going through the mesh. And you can do stuff like that um, in game modeling because you're not gonna, you're not gonna see that joint up close anyway. So there he is, there he is there. So to begin with this, I'll just kind of pick a view. So remember when you do these, we'll start from, there's our top view, but I'm just gonna start from the front view. So stick to a front view uh, when you start creating it and make sure it's in orthogonal, because uh, that way you won't kind of have any of the errors that we came to last time. Um, and we're gonna actually start a little bit differently with this. So instead of starting with a plane like we did last time, we're gonna use a cube. Uh, and that's that's because that's the base of box modeling. So if I click cube, um, I'm just going to move him to the side here. You're just going to get a real basic, you know, six-sided cube there. Uh, it hasn't got a great deal of detail to it though. So, so what you can do with this is you can start to add some cuts to it if you want to add a bit of extra detail. So uh, we go into up here. Remember we've got that loop cut that we used when we were playing around with the other one. So if I bring that into my edit mode and then scroll up, we've got your loop cut there. So if I bring that in there and then I can move that where I want it to and then spacebar to keep it in so you can do that or if we go loop cut and we bring it in and what I'm doing here is I'm actually scrolling the the mouse wheel and you can see instead of having one cut it's now making four or five six or as many as you want so um, a model like that I would probably use four or five so we've got that and we'll just keep it center in case you can see I've got those cuts there now and then we want to have them in all of the different um, axes as well so we'll put one there and I'll increase that oops and then I'll do it on one more angle here. There we go. So now you can see you've got a lot more detail um, to play with in that cube. That's probably a little bit too much, but look at our SpongeBob. You can see he's only really got one cut in the middle there and probably about three or four uh, in the side. So what I'll do is I'll make a new one. So just go out of your edit mode, back into your object, and we'll just add a mesh and we'll add a cube, bring him there and I'll just bring our loop cut in again. Okay, so we only really want just the one there, so I'll keep that and I'm going to give it one there. Okay, and his body you can see has quite a lot more. We've got like one, two, three, four, five, we've got a whole stack going up there. So we can do those later. You don't have to worry about those um, just just yet. So we'll have that there. All right. And so now we're going to actually use this box as a basis of um, creating our model. So I'm just going to go to object mode and just kind of move him out of the way there. I'll get rid of these because I don't need them. Uh, we can get rid of the cameras. You can get rid of all that kind of stuff because we're not going to need it. And I'll zoom in here. And we'll go back to our front view. All right, so let's start cutting this. So you'll see when you're in uh, object mode, it doesn't actually show you the those cuts that we made, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll go back into edit and you'll see them. Wow, there's a fly. Okay, so let's start doing this. So the first thing we wanna do is probably get this shape um, similar to what we've got there. So we'll grab our vertices. Um, now remember there's quite a few now, so we can use our border uh, and we can do that. but what you'll find is the border select will select everything it can see. So if I if I do it this way and I use border select and I do this, it'll select all those front facing ones, but you won't get the back ones. So for now, just kind of do it manually. So we just kind of zoom in. This is where you'll start zooming around in 3D space quite a lot. Um, and we'll grab, just zoom zone there, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So we've got our four vertices there. Um, go back to my front view, and I'm just gonna kind of bring those in line with him there, and I'll grab my top ones as well. Uh, obviously quicker, if you just switch to faces, it'll be a little bit quicker because you're gonna have to grab four of those. Um, back to my front view, and we'll move those up. Now you can see obviously he tapers, all right? So he gets uh, wider at the top. So we could scale it if we use the scale tool and we can do something like that, but obviously it scales all around, which is not what we want because he's Oh, here's a little bit, but it's not as big as that. So we can start with that there. And then if we just move these down, we can go into our edges. All right, select those ones and select those ones. 
and we can scale those in like that or even easier is to just select those two and kind of move them in. We can kind of see what we've got there and select those two and just kind of move them in. There we go. So now we've kind of got that, that rough SpongeBob uh, shape there. Okay. Um, so we'll go back to our front view. And again, we'll fix up this fine details later. And in reality, again, we're only going to be making half of this guy. So we don't have to worry, even worry about this second half here because we're going to be mirroring it. So I'll just do that now. Um, so if I select these, okay, so we've got to make sure we select the right ones. Those little black dots will help you. So if you click on those black dots, it'll that's what it'll select. It's a lot easier to kind of use those. Okay, so we've got those and then I'm just going to delete those. And I want to get rid of the faces. Gone. And so now I've only got half of it. All right. Uh, and we know, again, if we go into our object mode, add a modifier and we'll add a mirror. There we go. There's our mirror there. So now we just have to worry about working on half of this uh, section here. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently to the way he is. Now they're separate parts, but I want to actually make this um, a whole part, uh, as in make it part of this mesh. And the reason why is um, we're, we're, we're going towards creating a character that we're going to actually um, print. So if I did that, uh, where the mesh is separate, when you go to print this in a 3D printer, it will, it will make them separate and it'll, it'll drop off. So we're actually going to make the arm part of the mesh here. So what we need to do is we need to cut this face here so we have a polygon to uh, extrude from. So we can do that a few ways. Uh, again, your knife is probably a good one. So if I bring in my knife... So I'll go back into my edit mode. Okay, and bring my knife up. And what I'm gonna do is kind of just cut uh, a section. I kind of want that to be cut out there. So we need to create this so we can do that. So I'm gonna cut that uh, there. I can straighten this up later. Um, and that will probably do. And now I'm just going to make this have another polygon. So I'm going to go in here, get my knife, and I'm going to just do this. Three, four, and cut. All right. And so there is a section that I can extrude from now. Um, so remember when you create these, you still need to make sure that it's working. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five points in there, um, which is okay because then we will then get a cut here. And we'll cut that across. And I'll get a cut here. And I'll cut that across, okay. And then I'll get my knife here and I'll cut that. Actually, I'll just zoom it in a bit more. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna get my knife and I'm gonna cut this one from here and I'm gonna go there and cut this one from here and I'm gonna go there. Okay, and so now we've got a section because remember it needs to have uh, at least we don't have more than four uh, points on, on one of your faces here. So one, two, three, four points, and that's got one, two, three. So that'll work for us fine. Okay. Uh, and now we want to select these faces and get our arms. So that might be a little bit small for you. So we can scale that up a little bit, you know, something like that. Again, we can fix all of this later. Uh, and then I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to extrude. Um, okay. And that's going to extrude kind of locally. So it's extruding on that angle that's coming down. So um, we'll move that there and then I'm just going to move that kind of up. So we're kind of getting our arms. You can see obviously his arms are quite uh, lower. So again, easy to do. We just have to select uh, the right faces or even the right vertices and kind of just pull those down. So I'll stick in my faces mode and I'm just going to move this across here. Select those. And this is where again, you need to kind of spin around here. Select those. Ooh, what's going on here? So it looks like, ah, okay. So I've made it. You can see I've got a little error here. So I've kind of cut this and I've missed a bit when I've joined it. So I'm actually gonna kind of undo that and I'll show you the mistake that I made because um, I didn't even catch it. All right, we zoom in here. Okay. So you can see here I've cut when I use my cut tool uh, with the knife, I've actually cut in there and I haven't reached that that right point. So that's not what I wanted to do. So I can just remove those. Um, so if you ever do something like that, and you'll do it a lot, uh, we can go in here, we can select um, that vertice. Now, if we just go and delete it, um, 
you'll open up this whole gap here because it was keeping it together. So we don't want to just delete that vertice. So what we want to do is we want to dissolve it. So we'll select that. So I did this on purpose, of course, really. Yeah. Uh, we'll select that edge. And then when you go into um, delete here, you've got dissolve. So if we dissolve that edge, it takes it out, but the vertice is still sitting there as well. So we want to select that vertice and we want to dissolve that too. So we'll dissolve that vertice. All right, so now we're back to that shape there. So I can get my knife make sure I'm in the right spot. So you can see it'll turn red. There we go. And now if I extrude that, um, we'll be fine. But before I do that, I'll just kind of move these down because I know I want to do that later. Um, okay, so I'm just going to kind of manually move those down, 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 down to about there. Yeah, it kind of looks about right. All right, and just kind of move them across and just pick those up. Okay. Hi, Miss Hennessy. Good, you, you're now a special guest in my Year 9 uh, lesson video. So, there we go. Miss Hennessy will pass me drinks and stuff like that um, when I get thirsty, you know, pat me down. She's not, no, she's not going to do that. Um, okay, so now we can kind of see uh, that's in the right spot there. Um, so, we'll grab the back to faces mode and we'll select those faces and we'll just extrude. So, I'm just using the shortcut key of E, um, which you'll get uh, kind of you'll remember those keys after a while, like E extrudes and, you know, K cuts. Just makes it easier because you can use your mouse and your right hand to kind of move everything around and you use your left hand to do those shortcut keys. Um, okay, so there's our arm there. All right, and so we just kind of have a look at what we've got here. Um, so you can see he's got this sleeve, which is definitely, it, it's a bit bigger there. So again, we can just go in and we'll just move those in. Oops. And then I'll scale those up. There we go. So we've got that kind of sleeve um, going on there. And then we'll just go back into our knife and we'll just cut in another section, which we're gonna use for an arm. There we go. And then select those and then, whoops. And then um, extrude those out. There we go and kind of move them up. So again, now you can see you've got that sleeve and you've got the polys in there as well. So it'll actually work. All right, so now we've got that, we wanna kind of get into this hand and this is going to be uh, the tricky part because um, if we have a look at our hand here um, there's quite a fair bit of detail in there. Uh, I won't go to that level of detail just yet I'll just kind of show you how to kind of do this uh, a little bit easier. So we've got a hand so we're going to extrude another section and I'm just going to move that up okay there we go there and then we're going to start to kind of flatten this out like the hand is. So kind of move back a bit and I'll just extrude one more time so I've got a bit to play with. There we go. All right, and so if we just grab that vertice there, we'll start to kind of flatten this hand out. I'll grab that one as well. Kind of move that there. And I'll kind of start to flatten that. So now we want to get kind of fingers out of this section here, but we've only got those few polys to play with. So we're going to actually start to cut into those um, and make a little bit more. So again, we can bring our knife up here, cut there, and cut there. Okay, so now we can see, we can start to get some separate fingers. So if I grab the faces on this, we'll go one, two, three, four. Now, if I just extrude those, they'll come out as, as one, okay? So that's where if you're going to extrude here and make them individual, they'll come out as separate polys. So if I select this one and now move it across, okay, and we'll go in and we'll move that across and we'll go in a little bit, move that across, and move that across. You can now see they're actually individual. You've got faces on all sides there. And if we zoom in here, I'm just going to go to a solid now because it's going to be a bit easy to see. If we zoom in here, we've got room for our, our thumb uh, as well. So we've got our four fingers and our thumb can probably come off that one there. And I'll extrude that. Um, and we're we'll just going to move that down and then we'll fix these up a little bit later. Okay, so now you're starting to get your hand uh, in here. Now they're a bit chunky. So we'll go into our vertice mode move that in a little bit. Um, to get this working a bit better, I'll actually get my knife 
and I'll cut into there. Okay, and then I can actually select that one, bring it up a bit, bring it out, okay, and start to round that off a little bit more. Okay, so just bring that up and around. All right, and we'll go into these fingers here and kind of bring that down, bring that down, and with this little finger as well, I'll get my knife. Oops, get my knife. And do that, and then just kind of bring that up, bring that in. Okay, so there you go. You're starting to get a better shape of the hand. Obviously, I'm doing this really, really quickly. Um, you'd spend a bit more time doing that. Miss Stevens as well. Wow, everyone's coming in today. Um, and what you want to do is get your knife in here, and we'll just take it from that point to there and to there, and spin around. And join it there. Okay. And go back into our vertices now and we'll kind of move these in a little bit. Okay, get that one. Just kind of move it in. So you're starting to get your hand there. Uh, it looks a bit like a, a weird kind of claw, but we'll slowly fix that up. Um, okay. And there's our palm, so we can kind of move that up a bit more. All right, and then we need to get that one and really kind of move that in there. Get that arm up a bit. Okay, so you're starting to get a really kind of rough shape. I'll just border select those. And move those out a bit. Move them up. All right, so you're starting to get the picture here. So now it's it's really this kind of refining and moving bits and pieces till you get them how you want them. So if I move that in, okay, I'll start to taper that hand in, move that across, taper that in a bit more. And you just keep going back and refining this until you kind of really get the shape that you, you're looking for. Um, but it'll take a fair bit of time, so I just want to kind of get your head around this whole kind of cutting and, ex and extruding to kind of get that, that shape in there. Um, but there you go, so spend some time on that to make it look a lot better than I've done. Uh, and now we'll get to the, the leg, and we're kind of going to try and do the same, the same thing. So we just want to really make a cut in here. So we'll just go, okay, we want a leg here, so I'll put a cut there. Oops, um, we'll try that again. So we want to cut from there into, I'd say, there, there, into there. So you can see that didn't work. I might just zoom in and make it a bit easier. So there, into there. There into the, I'm not. I'm talking to my fans. Um, well, you nines. So you know, we'll say they're fans. There into there, and a fly that keeps buzzing around. All right, uh, there we go. There and then we can make a shape here. So I'm making this one a little bit more detailed, obviously than the arm, just to show you that. Okay, there we go. So we've still got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that'll work. One, two, three, four. So that'll work. And then we've got this kind of shape here, which we're going to have more detail to play with because you can see when we did that arm, we started. That's why it's very flat because we didn't have a great deal of detail to play with. You can go in there and add that, but you know it's always easy to start with more and then get rid of some. So let's grab this. All right, and then we just want to be. Oh, it's probably all right for the leg. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right. So. It's the same as the arm, it's actually got that kind of tapered bit at the start. So I'll just scale this up a little bit first. Uh, extrude some of that down there. Okay, well, probably a bit too much. Um, so we'll just bring that up, scale that so we have that taper. Okay, uh, and then we want to cut in another section in here. So 
I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'll see if this works. Um, the keys on the max. Um, inset. There we go. So I've just done an inset, um, which is automatically making that cut in there for me. So we'll bring those down to about there. Okay. Then select our leg and extrude that down. So you can see this is working a lot better for us now because we've got more detail here than we did with the with the hand. All right, and then we'll start to do his shoe. So let's have a look at how that shoe works. So it's got a taper there. So something like that, you would probably again do as a separate shape, but for what we're doing, we're gonna do it as, as one. So we'll extrude section out there and kind of bring that down for his, for his shoe. All right, and then we will then add another extrusion just here. All right, and we'll just use these front three faces and we'll extrude those out. There we go. All right. And I'll just select these vertices in here. Kind of move them forward a bit. You can see he's got that kind of that bulge in there. Um, so we'll just do that as well. So we'll get the knife and we'll just cut across there, go in and select those vertices, kind of bring them up a little bit. Okay, and I reckon we'll like grab these bottom faces and extrude those down there. And I'm gonna grab these. And extrude those. Now I want them to come all the way around, so I'm just going <laughs> to extrude. Oh, dear, that was very funny. Um, region. Yeah, that's good. Look, I'm um, driving the 24 seater to Geelong tomorrow. Uh, apparently, it's pick up at. Okay, so we can do that, but again, it's going to make all those individual kind of faces Don't in there. Why. So I'm just going to do it a little bit manually. Okay, just going to move that out a bit there. Because nobody's signed off on it either. Move that out a bit there. Okay, that'll probably do. So it's very. Um, oh yeah, yep. Very basic, yep. but. There you go. Uh, and actually, I'll probably go in here a bit. Okay, because I'd, I'd probably need to get up there about quarter past seven. Get those vertices. Yep. Okay, so there is our shoes. So again, fairly yep. basic, but you're starting to see um, that kind of SpongeBob shape in there. Um, we'll go in. I, I think we need to do the nose to make this work before I stop. Again, this is obviously a really quick, <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Uh, example. So to do the nose, I'm just gonna All right, well, bring that just, um, into there. Get back to me with whatever bring you want. Into there. Okay, thanks, Jude. Put Bye. those in. Get my knife. Cut there. Cut there. Cut there. Okay. And select these vertices here. And I'm just gonna kind of oops. So you saw then when I started to move it, it started to go out a little bit. So let's go back to our front view. And that way we can move these without affecting the rest. So I'll just move those up, move those up, move that up there, move that down. Oops. Okay, and then we'll grab these faces. And we'll extrude that. Just move it up a little bit. Okay. Grab that vertice and move that out. Thanks. Jeez, that was quick, Judy. And there you go. There's our nose. Again, not as perfect as my okay, other one, but fantastic. get the idea. Okay, um, thanks. And then Bye. we can do the eyes too. So I'm just going to cheat with the eyes. Let's just add uh, a mesh and we'll add this here. Um, 
but we'll bring all those, it doesn't need to be that details. And we'll bring those down. So you gotta be careful when you add extra things like these um, for that detail. I mean, but that's an eye, which is gonna be really, really small, but all those segments, there's more segments in that circle than there is in our entire character. So you've got to be careful with those kind of things because especially in a game environment, um, it'll really slow down your character. I remember when we were doing it uh, on one game we were working on, um, we had the whole game was running like super, super slow. We didn't know why. And it was because one of these little butterflies we made as like a background character in this Jurassic Park game we made, um, the wings had like, you know, 200 vertices in them. Um, and it was just overlooked. And so when we used to have all these butterflies, it used to break the game every time we didn't know what was wrong. Um, but anyway, so there you go. It's a real quick, basic version of that, that SpongeBob character. Now, again, you can see if I go to object mode, uh, I'm going to move him across there. Um, it's obviously not the same as my first model, um, but you've got that, that same shape. Uh, and again, I didn't want you to go too crazy on this because you're just kind of slowly um, picking up how this works. So, you know, we're not going for that kind of detail I've got there. I mean, if you can, awesome. But let's just start to get a, a rough shape first because we're just practicing with these ones um, to kind of build up your, your kind of your skills and, and, and knowing, you know, how, how this whole thing works. So there's my real quick basic version of my SpongeBob character. Um, actually, no, I think, I, I think I've forgotten the most important thing. I've forgotten his pants. Um, so let me bring those pants in. Um, and then I'll, I'll finish this off. All right, so I'm just going to loop cut that. Okay. Uh, bring him down here. See, that might just be easier with the knife at this point because I've got a bit of detail in there. Okay. All right. And we'll grab those vertices there and just pull them out. There we go. That's better. All right. So, yeah, really, really kind of basic um, version of it, but you can kind of see we're getting that shape there. So it's just to kind of get your idea around cutting and extruding and, and starting to slowly build this shape, this this shape, and which, again, is called, um, it's called box modeling. So we'll go back to our solid. Um, and there you go. So that's kind of what you'll be working on um, today uh, and also uh, in your next lesson on this as well. So this is another one that goes over two, goes over two lessons, okay? Um, because, it'll, again, it'll take a little bit of time to kind of get this kind of thing going. And the guys that are doing, obviously, um, the second, like, level two, you don't need to use my example here or do a SpongeBob. You can do your own kind of model if you want. But, again, it'll be, it'll be pretty tricky because this is all quite new to you. So that's this uh, this lesson and the following one. I'll also do another lesson, which, because I won't, actually I won't do it now, which I'll go over this more in depth because this might be something that you can do um, when you're away. So, because I'll lose you for that week for camp. So I might actually set this for uh, kind of a homeworky task. Um, and I'll explain what that's for uh, a little later. So this one we'll do for now. Uh, and I'll put this together. Obviously, I'll put it in another book with your learning um, outcomes and intentions and stuff like that. And I'll even actually, I'll add this um, Scopper's Guide there too, so you can check that out. So that's uh, lesson three.